single they've done so far that's the style council and walls come tumbling down and the new lp's out on may the 31st and from shepherd's bush which is easy i'm trying to grow up come tumbling down and the new lp's out on may the 31st and from shepherd's bush which is easy i'm trying to grow up i think it's similar to bands in liverpool and manchester and places like that but if you're a band in london you're only out to rehearse for your group on stage and most day and arm in a base in london so they're going to see it so if you're not up to scratch at that stage, they're going to put you down. You don't really get a chance to breathe again, you know. Whereas over here, you have a chance to develop. So uh, it has that advantage. The disadvantage is that the A&R men are based in London. So it's a lot of hassle trying to get them over. Well, what were the problems I was hearing about with uh, an LP you made for Electra? Yeah, that's the last thing we did. Uh, we sent demo tapes all over the place. And uh, funny enough, we thought that sort of someone in Britain would pick up on it. But it was an American record company, Electra. And they sent Andrew Oldham over. He was sort of talent. The old the Stones manager. Yeah, old hippie himself. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he came over. He said, you know, the band are good. They signed us up. Went to London last summer. This time last summer, made the record. It was a good record. Then they said we don't want to release it. Good luck. So that was that, you know. No reason. Well, I think they couldn't pigeonhole us. We're not Duran Duran. Only that carry on, you know. You have to make it in Ireland first before you have to start all over again in England. Well, that's the way. You don't have to make it live. I think it helps to get out on stage and try and build up a crowd for the experience of playing live. I mean, some bands have just said, well, forget about it, we go straight to London, but usually they're the bands that get lost.
I knew we couldn't come all the way to Ireland without ending up somewhere in a pub. And we're in one now. And if they drink this stuff all day long, I don't know what it is, but it tastes extremely nice. I'm not surprised they make bloody strange all day long. I don't know what it is, but it tastes extremely nice. I'm not surprised they make bloody strange. First time I saw Boston town Driving three days into a strong wind Didn't know where I'd been This incredible hug of a man Keeps telling me to play with my song You can't go home Full marks from the Rochdale judge, I think. That's uh, green on red and got to keep on moving. If that's not an hindsight in a couple of years, then my name's John Noakes. And they've just released the second LP on the Zippo label, and it's called Gas, Food and Lodging. Well, here in Whistle Test Intelligence, I think we've got a result. Take it away. They've just released the second LP on the Zippo label, and it's called Gas, Food and Lodging. Well, here in Whistle Test Intelligence, I think we've got a result. Take it away.
Big Sound Authority playing specially for the Saturday Picture Show, and in fact, that particular single, um, Big um, Bad Town, is out uh, on Tuesday, so you can go out and buy it. Good news for all you horse lovers. Really got us all on. Picking his heroes this week is the lead singer of that 60s pop group, The Animals, of course, Eric Burden. Well, Eric, you must feel that that record still haunts you. Let go! Now, from this LP, Toots and the Maytels now perform the great song. This is Reggae. Over the summer, we're going to be making a film about how they fare in this new environment. But here they are, just a few weeks back, at the University of London Union, the Screaming Blue Messiahs and someone to talk to. Splendid group they are. Legal situation in America, the racial situation in America. So you find 
so on your own, but just exactly what I like to do.